Our Facebook fans wanted to know where are some of the best places to experience some holiday cheer in the UP. What type of events and festivities are there in the next few weeks? TV6's Noelle McLaren joins us now with some answers. Noelle? Steve, fortunately, folks in the UP have a wealth of Christmas resources right in their backyards. Up here in the cold and snow, we've all joked at one point or another that we live near the North Pole, but there's one tiny town in the UP that draws Christmas-seeking crowds from all over the country. You'd be hard-pressed to find a bigger helping of Christmas spirit than you can in the holiday's namesake, Christmas, Michigan. Scraping the shores of Lake Superior in Alger County, the tiny town is a Norman Rockwell of Christmas cheer. The best place to experience Christmas is Christmas. And some wooden ones. Gifts and treats deck the halls of the ever-popular Santa's Workshop, a place people travel from all ends of the Upper Peninsula and the world to see. It's just they want to be in Christmas. We had people from Europe, Switzerland, Finland. We get a lot of people from Canada, Wisconsin. We get people from all over, and they just love it. One of the town's greatest draws, the mailing of Christmas cards with a Christmas Michigan postmark. They will stamp your cards and they will say Christmas Michigan on them. How cool is that? And you send a card to somebody and it says Christmas Michigan? Hmm. That's, that's such a joy. This Wednesday through Saturday, they'll host only their second annual Christmas and Christmas festival, including horse-drawn carriages, raffles, and, of course, holiday treats. Everybody has just been going out of their way to help in so many different ways. Here, it's even when it's not Christmas, they're that way. <laughs> Of course, Christmas isn't the only community hosting holiday festivities this season. It just happens to be popular. While most festivals are finished by now, there are plenty left for you and your family to enjoy. You can find a list at UpperMichiganSource.com by clicking on this news story.